bam, there you have it. Now you know how to get market snapshot data and the top 20 losers and gainers from the polygon.io API. Finance family, it's your other brother, Adam Gitbags. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at getting market snapshot data and the top losers and top gainers from the polygon.io API in Python. First thing we wanna do is open our trusty Google. Go ahead and Google search Polygon API. Scroll down, here's polygon.io. If you've seen my other Polygon videos, I'll link them up here. You can see how to get set up on the website and get your API key so that we can start developing. Here under docs, let's go ahead and open up the REST API docs. And then here we wanna click into our Python client. So once we're on the GitHub here, go here and then click into the read the docs. We need to read the docs and the Polygon docs to do our job here. So let's go ahead and click into getting started on our Polygon docs here. And we can see we need to pip install Polygon API client. So if you've already installed it, that's great. And you can kind of get started with the script here, but I'll just quickly go over that. If you go over to your Anaconda Navigator here, you can go under environments, go over here to base and then click the play button. You can open the terminal and then you can go ahead and paste your command in there to pip install Polygon API client, run that, you'll be up to speed. You can X that out, go back to home and then launch your spider when you're done. Now that we've pip installed everything, we can import our modules here. And this is coming just directly from the documentation. I'll show you where to get that. But here what I'm doing for my API key is I'm importing it from another file called polygonapikey.py. If you see the other videos, I show you kind of how to do that. Otherwise, you can just paste it as a string right here and assign it to a variable, or you can just paste it directly as a string. But let's go on to see how we can create a client and authenticate with our API key. So let's go back over to our Python docs. So for this video, we're just gonna be using the non-paginated endpoints. So you can copy this block out and you can paste it into your script. So here we're creating a client. It's gonna be under this variable called client, and then we're inputting our API key here. Next, what we're doing is we're assigning a stock ticker. Let's just use Apple for this example. And then we're gonna make our first data request. So we're gonna use this git snapshot all and then let's see where we can find that in the documentation so if you go to the python docs here and we go under snapshot we can see this command git snapshot all so you can just copy out client .git snapshot all then we need to provide a couple parameters market type and then tickers here so we're going to need to input a market type so to see what market types they have you can go to the polygon docs and then you can go to ticker types here under their reference data endpoints and then you can see they have stocks options crypto and forex so we'll just use stocks here and then we're gonna specify a ticker. So let's flip back over to our script here. We can see our market type is stocks, and then our ticker that we're gonna use is a single ticker, it's gonna be Apple. So we're just gonna get a single snapshot of the data here and see what comes back. We'll go ahead and run that, and then we'll start to review the data. So if we look here, it's a list, and it has some other objects inside of it. So let's take a closer look here using the deer function, and then let's see what comes up. Looks like we have a couple of different attributes that we can look at here. So let's kind of go one by one and just check those out. So since the variable single snap is a list, we're just using this zero to access the first element in the list, which is all of the data. So we're using single snap zero dot day, and then we can see it returns to us an ag. So an ag object is what they use to represent candlesticks in this API. So if you wanted to look at the open price on your snapshot, you just use dot day dot open, and then that'll give you your open price back. And then if you want to look at your ticker, you can use dot ticker and that'll give you your ticker back then this dot min that actually gives you a minute snapshot as it says here and then it shows you i guess it looks like the total volume and then also some candlestick data there so it looks like total volume here some candlestick data and then the current minute candles volume next we have today's change and then we have the percent change of today so you can also look at that and then next we have a dot updated which is where you can see the timestamp when the market snapshot was updated so that covers how to get a single tickers data next we're going to want to get a lot of tickers data so let's go ahead and just run that and it'll be for the entire stock market it shouldn't take too long that to come through so you can see how long that list is it's almost 12,000 items long next what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna loop through and then we're gonna print out the ticker of each item in the list but we're only gonna print out the first five so if you wanted to create your own top gainers or top losers list you could use today's percent change 
and then you could loop through all of the items in the list and then sort the list yourself. You could add some other filters if you want, you know, the sky's the limit there. Up next, we're gonna take a look at how to request the top gainers by using the git snapshot direction function. So back in our Python docs, we can click under git gainers loser snapshot. And then here we have the function. We have to specify a market type and a direction there. And it says it just gives you the top 20 gainers or losers. So if you flip over to the polygon docs and click under snapshot, you can click under gainers or losers. You can look at the parameters here, gainers or losers. And then you can also toggle over the counter. So from our Python docs, we're using git snapshot direction. We're gonna classify stocks and then gainers, and we're gonna see what comes back. So it looks like a whole mess of data. So we're gonna definitely wanna take a look. We can see here that the type is a list. And so we're gonna need to see, okay, how many items in this list? It looks like 21 items, which is odd. And then here, let's take a look at the deer function and see what can we pull out from the first item in the list. So you can pull the ticker out, we can pull out the percent change, which is gonna be probably the most important. Now, if we just wanna flip through and see what are the tickers of all of our winners? We can use a for loop here and it looks like some SPACs with warrants, uh, probably some pretty obscure names. So instead of using these obscure warrants and SPACs and whatnot, you might wanna put some like volume restrictions or filters on when you're going through bulk snapshot data instead of using these predefined functions, which might not actually be that useful for you. Okay, great. So we can do the same thing, but we can do it for losers as well. We're gonna use the same function here, but we're gonna specify losers and then we're just gonna loop through all those losers. So here's a list of 20 of the most losingest stocks. I mean, whoever was holding this definitely took some L's. I mean, just by the looks of it, it's probably some SPACs and some warrants. I mean, this isn't 2021. You can't just be out here trading SPACs like that. Bam, there you have it. Now you know how to get market snapshot data and the top 20 losers and gainers from the polygon.io API in Python. Hopefully you weren't holding any of those warrants and you got to learn some cool tech skills. This is just another video in the Polygon API series. I got more to come, so stay tuned. You have my blessing, fam. Let's go get these bags.